So we call the uh, police, and they all come out, and then they would like, get back, you bum, get back. And it was all pitch black. Uh, so they go in this alley, they come out with stretchers with guys on them. This one guy on the stretcher, he had a pool of blood. He got shot in the heart. And his pool of blood was covering his whole chest. And I'm looking at him. Well, a kid, that's tough for a kid to, to go through facing that, uh, you know, as you grow up. You see uh, that violence. But we were pretty violent. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wish. You had a fight for your... Uh, Just reiterate that to me. You were walking down the street when you were 12 years old and you hear, hey, man. Oh, no. Come on. Uh, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey man, hey man, that means stop it, stop it, let me rob you. No, they did that well. That was their favorite way of uh, communicating. They always said, hey man, hey man. You knew right away when I heard that, I was off. Wasn't it? <laughs> and then there was another, David. There was another game. We would go to the movies every Saturday knowing you're going to get robbed. So, <laughs> movie money in our shoe and we kept a nickel in our hand because a nickel you only took a dime to get in the movies in those days so sure enough those guys that surround us a big gang of guys they're all in the reformatory came. so they would get around and say hey would you really try to punch us so we would just go leave us alone man we want to go to the movies don't bother you got any money oh so uh my brother was standing next to me he was younger than i about five or six years and he was Powering in a coin this way, and the guy said, Hey man, look at him. He pushed him in a car almost off the curb. The car the I thought it was uh, almost hit it. Brother Frank. No, it was, yeah, it was my brother Frank. Yeah, was when I saw that, I went, Wow, I hit that guy with the gang leader. He was a little punk like this. Boom, I hit him, I knocked him 40 feet. But he had guys with him that were six feet five, you know, big guys, they're all in the reformatory. They did his dirty work. So we started running. So I ran into the theater, gave my money and got in. And so as we get into the movies, uh, we look back there, we see them come in the movie looking for us in the movie. So we all slide down in our seats like this. And we're looking and we're okay as long as the scenery is dark in the movie. But then you get a real light scene and lights up the theater. We're going, no, no. That, that was cringy when I see that light up the, the theater light on like a daylight scene. But night scenes, we were safe. So you know what they do? They went out of the movie after and they're waiting for us outside. Sure enough, the movie's over. No matter how many times we saw the movie, they're waiting to get their revenge. So I go, I saw, oh, here they're going to revenge now. So I come on, this will good. Oh, come you hit me, now you hit me, I'll kill you, man. I said, look, I said, you asked for it. You know, he tried to sucker punch me, you know, quick. So I was standing, and I always had healthy teeth, beautiful Italian teeth. So, the <laughs> teeth were really great. So I'm looking at him, and I'm laughing. I said, look, it's your fault. I said, yeah, and he hit me. He hit me right here, and he hit me in the, and the biggest tooth he could, uh, that I had. He went, ah! He went like he, was, he hurt his hand, you know. So we started running, <laughs> and we could run. I tell you, we could outrun those guys. This was be fast, you know, sprinters. Performatory school sprinters. We used to outrun blacks that were really fast, carrying stuff. We'd outrun them, but they didn't have it. I'm carrying my trumpet case, and I'm outrunning a black. That's really running. You have fear, man. You can increase your speed by, by uh, I don't know, exponentially. Geometrically. Okay. <laughs> so this guy, like, I hit him and, I, and I we're running like this, and my cousin's running that way, this way. They're all after us. My cousin goes over the fence. Who didn't he throw his instrument? He threw a sack over sack the fence. The fence. And he had a big tenor. <laughs> and over he went. <laughs> Barbed wire and all. And this guy that I, that I punched and ran, he, he's, uh, he even put the ball turned. He, he, no, he thought it was a rock. <laughs> the throw. <laughs> he was so frustrated. He didn't put, he couldn't, he, you know what? He couldn't catch us. But he was always doing. He made our life. Was that the McDowell? He said Billy McDowell. He's the guy with the big game.